Hi, I'm Lisa Kim and welcome to our Heart Health Series. Today we're going to talk about coronary heart disease and who better to talk about that than Dr. Bob Harrington. He is the chairman of the Department of Medicine at Stanford and also the president-elect for the American Heart Association. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So coronary heart disease, that's the leading cause of death not only within the U.S. but globally. For a number of years now, coronary heart disease has been the leading cause of death in the U.S. And then in the more recent years, it's become the leading cause of death uh, around the globe. So what are we looking at in terms of treatments? In order to take care of patients with heart disease, it really is team-based care. But part of that team involves the patient, him or herself. How are they empowered to look after their own health when it comes to cardiovascular disease? Uh, they really are at the center of the whole thing. And what we know about coronary heart disease is that in addition to medical therapy, the other cornerstone is lifestyle. It's weight loss, it's stopping smoking, it's attending to, uh, to diet and exercise. And the only one who can really think about that and do that is the patient themselves. We talked about empowering the patient. Now we have a program called Second Opinion, which gives patients greater access to Stanford physicians and expertise. Tell us more about that program. One of the great things about the technology that we have available today to share with the community, with our patients or our prospective patients, are tools like Second Opinion, where we can extend the reach of Stanford faculty, Stanford physicians, and allow patients access to those Stanford physicians without actually coming onto campus to see them. So information can be loaded into the Second Opinion system. Physicians can have an opportunity to review that, including the electronic health record information, images, pathology, et cetera, all of that can be facilitated through this set of tools. And then information can be given back to the patient. So this is a tremendous way to, I would say, do two things, extend the reach of Stanford outward, mm -hmm. but also extend the patient reach inward to uh, be able to potentially access experts in a way that they couldn't before. So a win-win situation. It's good for everybody. It's really good for everybody. One of the changes or improvements that we see is that you're having a lot more touches with patients. They're wearing their wearables that record their health information. So it's a partnership between the physician and the patient. Any stories come to mind that demonstrate that? Yeah, I, ha I had a recent patient, I think this will be representative of, uh, of what you can do, who was convinced that the high blood pressure reading whenever he would see me was so-called white coat hypertension, that he was just anxious when he was uh, in the doctor's office. And that's a legitimate concern. Mm -hmm. uh, working together, he uh, got a wearable device to measure his blood pressure. And we made an agreement that over the course of the next few weeks, he would send me a series of blood pressure readings. Well, guess what? Many of them were high. And now he got to see that in the context of his daily living, whatever he was doing, he actually had control over when he took the reading and he took ownership of uh, what that reading was because he was doing it at home in his own setting. Uh, we then were able to have him come back to the office. We could talk about that. We could look at the blood pressure readings. And then we came up with a, uh, a medical regimen that worked for him. So it was a great example of empowering him to make the measurements himself when he wanted to that led to a uh, change in therapy and hopefully over time control of his blood pressure. All better for patient care on all around totally better for patient care when you can put the patient at the center and really engage him or her in their own care. Good news. Well, thank you for joining us, Dr. Bob Harrington, the chairman for the Department of Medicine at Stanford and also president-elect for the American Heart Association. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us.